Hmm. Now, I just slide these back in so I can save some space. Now I gotta take the boom head off to get the sheaves out. Conrad boom tips usually slide inside the boom and are split. And there's all the sheaves. Now you, you can put the boom head back together or just leave it apart. It don't matter. It's easier to paint with it off. Unless you're painting it the same color as the boom section itself. Like mine, mine, the boom will be black and then the tips will be white. So I have to take I have to tape them off and everything. Now the jib comes apart pretty much. Take all the pins out. Now these, this one already has metal sheaves in it. I'm not sure if the original owner put those in there or if it came like that. I doubt that they came with the metal sheaves. So it probably had a rivet in here to begin with and he drilled it out. This one has a metal sheave. And I have to draw all those out to get the plastic out. You know, this has already been drilled out. He just pushed the pin back in and glued it.
to be in stubborn. As I want them out. I drilled it out, but it's just not. I can't push it out far enough to grab it. There it goes. You can drill that out where it pivots, but you don't have to. Because it's just all going to be the same color. But when you go to paint it, I'd leave it open like that. Not closed. Because when you go to lower it, you'll have a little spot that wasn't painted. So, just leave it like that. I'll get more into it when I start painting. And then one more. Well, two more. Parts. There's pulley there. And then one more in this tip. This tip is plastic. The other parts are metal. And that's everything for that model. I'm pretty sure I got to take that one apart. These three sheaves. This one didn't want to come apart. This one's glued. I might just leave this one alone. I can hand paint this. Being it's so small. I'll just hand paint that one. Because it's not going to get stripped down or anything. But. That's pretty much everything to this model. Like I said, the suspension, you didn't really have to take all the wheels and hubs and stuff off. Well, you had to take the plastic hubs off because if you want to paint them to match the crane. But you don't have to paint this if you don't want to. Make sure all the plastic is taken off and you break everything down to its final piece. There's no parts together or anything. I do have something else. Counterweights. These little plastic pieces. And there's that. Completely broke down as far as it'll go. I'll do the LTM 1300 next, break it down. I'm sure, well, I don't know. I guess I'll make a video of me doing that one too, in case some of y'all 
have that model and want to repaint it. So I'll do that one next. And then once everything is completely broke down, then I'll make another video of showing you how to strip all the paint off and everything. And then we'll go from there. So it's a lot of parts. But make sure you separate everything, the plastic from metal. Store all your all your pins and tiny parts in a container or a Ziploc bag. And if you want, you can put the pins in a different, a small baggie and label it to where the pin went or something. If you want to be more organized like that. I just keep everything in one container as much as I can. But yeah. Thanks for watching and tune in for the next one.